means I was beseeching, I was praying, I was begging, and I was urging God Almighty to protect us from Satan the occurs. And I feel if there is any moment in the life of this country that we require this type of prayer, it is now. If you have no objection, opening a session like this, with a prayer like this, may I hear Amen. Amen. It's not loud enough. Amen. I want to hear you quite well. Amen. Thank you very much. Please, do me a favor. Give me all your attention for the next moment. No murmuring, no side talks. No telephone calls. You have enough time to do that after the lectures. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak to you. I understand that uh, this is a gathering of over 220 Atiku support group organizations that have seen reason, have decided, and have agreed to operate under one umbrella for greater success in the entire Kaduna state. I think this is the first time I'm seeing organizations agreeing to melt together. And you will not regret this. Let me also thank you for agreeing to converge within the shortest possible notice given to you. It shows how concerned you are about happiness in the country. It shows how committed you are in seeing that uh, we eliminate evil with good. I must congratulate you for this. Thirdly, Thirdly, let me assure you that uh, what you are doing now, you are doing it for yourself. You are not doing it for anybody for yourselves. If you refuse to network, if you refuse to converge, if you refuse to work collectively, you will all be consumed by the APC danger, by the APC ineptitude, by the APC derailment, by the APC incapacity by the APC blindness and by the APC's lack of vision, mission to take Nigeria to the promised land. Don't think you are doing anybody any favor. The first favor is yourself before any other person. Why? Because we are all living witnesses. All you require to ask yourself is before 2015, what was the quality of life of Nigerians? We were more secured before 2015 than we are now. Yes. True or false? True. We are poorer now. We are richer before 2015 than we are now. We are poorer now. True or false? True. In terms of cohesion, we were more united as a nation before 2015 than we are now. True or false? True, we were more peaceful before 2015 than we are now. True or false? True, we were healthier before 2015 than we are now. True or false? True, I can continue asking you endless questions and you are going to get the answers correct. Yes. Why? Because 
we have felt it right inside our body. In Nigeria, especially in northern Nigeria, nobody is safe at home. No on the highway. No in the offices. No in the mosques. No in the churches. No in Sunday schools. No in Islamias. No in banking halls. These days, if you go to the cemetery, you are eager to come out because anything can happen even in the cemetery. Mm. That is how bad the situation is now. Today, in northern Nigeria alone, there are over 40 million, mark my words, 40 million graduates with first, second degree, diploma holders, NCE, jobless. If they wake up in the morning, they have nowhere to go. They can't support their parents. They were taken to school, paid for by their parents, under pains. The hope of the parents was that they would come back and support them. They can't support their parents now. 40 million in the north. Unemployed, graduates, diploma, NCE, and other certificate holders, no job. We have the highest unemployment rate in the country. There are 20 million youth out of school. They have never been enrolled in school. 20 million. Of the 20 million, 78% are located in the northern part of the country. The meaning of this is that uh, we have over 16 million potential ready-made Boko Haram in the future. Potential arm robbers in the future. Potential one chances in the future. Potential pickpocketers in the future. Potential criminals of high profile if care is not taken. Not because there is no money enough to enroll them, but because we have politicians who are callous, heartless, crude, and wicked, who have personalized our collective wealth to the total exclusion but to the benefit of their members of their own families. We have people who have promised us manna, but everything that is given to us is sour and bitter. We have people presiding over us who have portrayed the face of Moses but at heart is Moses, is, is, is Pharaoh. That is why we find ourselves where we are now. And in fairness to these people who have destroyed this country, in fairness to them, you, I, them, all and sundry contributed in destroying this country in the following ways. Number one, we know we have extreme insecurity challenges of kidnappers, of amrabas, cattle rustlers, and so on and so forth. But the question to ask you is, we all know these criminals. Yes. 